Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. In today's video, we'll try to understand Tableau Server activities. So as a beginning, once all the development of your dashboard is completed, you would need a place where you can publish this report. So generally in real time to publish a report to the server, first thing is you need to have permissions so that you can publish a report to your server. So assume you know you have a permission, so and Whenever you have a permission, you will be shared a link to sign in and publish the report in that server. So this is how your sign in page will look like in real time. Okay. And once you get this link, so this uh, link will be shared a server link that we call. You have to sign in with your domain ID or you know your employee ID or the authentication that you are using to log into your system. Just enter that and sign in to the server. So once you sign in, it will take you to the location or to the server or to the project that you have access to. Okay, so here if you see, I have access to uh, the server, like this is Tableau Training 13. That is something that I have created and I have access to this. So I can see what all is there. So always remember here in server, everything depends on the permissions that you have, like what kind of permissions you have. It all depends on that. So your home screen in Tableau server looks like this. Okay. Now assume if at all you want to publish your report to this server. First thing you need to do is go to your Tableau report. Yes. Yeah. So assume I want to publish this report to our Tableau server. The first thing is we need to sign in to our Tableau desktop here or you know sign in to this report so that we can publish. So go to your server here, click on sign in. Again, you have to use the link that was shared to you. You can enter that link here and click on connect. It will ask you to sign in. So same thing I'm doing. Since I've created a Tableau online server, I'm clicking on connect. It will ask me to sign in. Now observe this part area here, this area here at the bottom. So I'm just entering my Credentials here. And it is trying to sign in now. So now see here, once I sign in, it will show your name here generally in real time, which means that your report is signed in now. Now, what we need to do is we need to publish our report. So in real time, you will be given a location like this is the location in this. If I go to explore option here, I have different folders. So this will discuss in our next video. So you will be asked to publish to a specific folder. Suppose, you know, we are in a development environment and we want to publish our reports to development. So assume this is the location where we want to publish the report. So now once we sign into our desktop, and then I click on publish workbook. So once you sign in, click on publish workbook here. So once you click on publish location, we get a pop up which will ask where do you want to publish. So this is the main important thing while publishing the uh, workbook that you need to take care. So click on this, it will list out all the different folders that are available in our in our server. So where do you want to publish? So according to our current scenario, we need to publish our workbook in dev folder. So I'm just clicking on that. And name of the report that you are going to publish. So by default, the name of your workbook is the name of this. Okay, so mostly we will keep the same name. Whatever is there, the report name will be same here. If at all you want to write any description to that, you can enter that here in the description box. Next is, very important option here sheets like you know it or uh, it always happens or it mostly happens that we might create many number of dashboards or many number of worksheets in, in our report but while publishing we might not publish all of them we might publish only few of them so you can make selections from here click on this edit and you can select what all you need so currently we have only one that's why it is listing only one but when you have many, you can select only dashboards or all of them or none or manually you can choose. So you have three different options to choose. So here 
if you select only dashboards, which means even though you have multiple worksheets in your workbook, it will select only dashboards. Okay, so in our scenario, I'm publishing only the dashboard that is available and then permissions. Okay, so if at all you want to customize permissions, you can click on this. And next important is data sources here. So this is one of the very important options. So in real time, mostly we will be connected to some or the other data sources. So we need to embed our passwords in our workbook so that whenever user signs or whenever user logs into the report from the server, you know, he should not be prompted with a password to enter. So to avoid that scenario, what we'll do is we will embed password here. Okay, so if I click on this, it is showing what are the different data sources I am using here. Okay, so since you know in my current workbook I have only sample superstore, it is showing only one. So in cases you are connected to multiple data sources, all that will be listed here. And this is an Excel file that I'm connected to. That's why you don't have any authentication option here. But in cases when you are connected to data sources which requires connection, then you will be given an another option here. So there you have to choose embed password option. So once you do that, always embed password. Otherwise, you know, your workbook will not work in the server because end user will not know the password of the workbook. And again, he will come back with an issue that, you know, he's unable to see the reports. He is getting so-and-so error. So to avoid that, always make sure that your workbook uh, is always password embedded so once you click on that you can click on publish and your report will be published to that server so once this is done tableau will give us a preview like see now it is giving us a preview of that you know it has published the report to the server okay here it is now this is the pop-up, but if I go to my general server location, so we have published it to dev folder. If I click on this, you see we have published this workbook just now. So if I click on this, this is how the report will look like to the customer or to the end user. Okay. So that's it from my side in this video. Please like, share and subscribe. Thank you. Have a good day. Bye-bye.